so far it's been like an animal safari. We've seen antelope. We've seen tons of buffalo. We even got to see baby donkeys and a snake. And I'm not sure if it was a rattler or not. He was going across the road. I got pictures of him, but I have to look at him closely to see if he was a rattler or not. Um, otherwise, I don't know what snake kind of snakes are around here. Don't forget the wabbit. Oh yeah, we saw a rabbit. We see those in our front yard. Rascally rabbit. <laughs> oh, prairie dogs. Where are we going? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a minute of Colorado Martini. So keep in mind when you come to Custer's um, Park that it's a state park so your federal pass does not work. You can get a $20 pass and that will last 7 to 10 days or you can get an annual pass for $36 at the time of this video. spotted some pronghorn <laughs> antelope so we're flipping around let's take a look at those so as I was saying <laughs> we are in custard State Park and there's tons of wildlife here so much so they have a wildlife loop and we have already seen buffalo, uh, pronghorn, um, antelope um, and we've been here before and we're now looking for bighorn sheep um, but it's an absolutely beautiful um, park and there's so much to see. Um, it takes you know you, you want to spend more than a day here because there's a lot to see so we're heading um, on the wildlife loop on the way down to wind caves which is a national park um, custer state uh, park is a state a, a south dakota state park and it's definitely a worth seeing so we're here in the NMA and it's really pretty with the green and the brown mixture it's just gorgeous unfortunately it's a cloudy day though thunderstorms are pretty too thunderstorms are pretty so what I like about um, the Custer State Park and the wind caves is all the, the wildlife that's in the area um, matter of fact we're about ready to run over a magpie and a don't run over him he's just a baby get out of the road get out of the road prairie dog <laughs> yo man you ain't a cat you only got one life <laughs> you almost ran over that baby prairie dog oh <laughs> stains on the road are. <laughs> I thought it was buffalo poop, but it's really prairie dog. The prairie dog squat, <laughs> splash. <laughs> Did he just do a nose dive into that hole? <laughs> oh, I thought you were pointing at a squished one in the road. Oh, there is a squished one in the road. <laughs> that prairie dog totally just like did a, a nose dive into his hole and all I saw were these two legs like this and his belly. Into belly. the foxhole, damn it, we've got incoming. <laughs> but I guess it's a prairie dog hole, not a foxhole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's French Creek. <laughs> that French Creek, it gets around. So we just saw a buffalo. He's like all by himself by the creek, just fast asleep, and he's like gonna wake up and say, "Where's everybody?" Have a mustache painted on his brow, <laughs> on his 
nose. I am stupid written on his forehead. <laughs> I knew I should have drank the French Creek. <laughs> That's what you call a buffalo chip. <laughs> So they're very raggedy this time of year. It's May because they're losing their um, winter coats. So you can see on him, he really is losing quite a bit of fur. Holy hoof marks, Batman. So these right here that you see are where buffalo bed down and you see them all over the place. They make this like rutted area. Um, if we go up a little bit more, we see even some more up here. Um, they kind of like dig themselves out and roll in an area um, to kind of take away all the grass and stuff. I don't know, like those right there. Those are definitely where they bed down and make these like rutted areas. So if there's multiple ones, that's like a buffalo bed and breakfast. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, get out and pose with that buffalo. I'll take your picture. <laughs> are you trying to get rid of me? No. <laughs> We're gonna stop and see the donkeys. They're babies too.
So on the northeast side of the park um, are some wonderful lodges. Um, some are really expensive, some aren't. Um, there's a lot of campgrounds. Um, there's a great paved um, bike path, walking path. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, also, always bring printed out maps or get maps that are printed out. Do not rely on your phone or your GPS. Um, you will not get, most people don't get a phone signal uh, within the park um, or um, your mobile network at all. So make sure that you have all your reservations and all your maps printed out before you come. So, I never thought I'd ever say this, but I'm tired of taking pictures of uh, bison. I've only taken 500, but I... <laughs> and lots of buffalo, but... <laughs> I've taken so many pictures of buffalo, I just, like, have way too many. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, go through them, but I love taking pictures of bison. They're just fascinating. Make sure to catch all the videos that we have on South Dakota and the beautiful Black Hills.